Hello everyone, it's really brilliant to be with you this week again for Assembly. And we're going to continue looking at our school value, at respect. And I'm going to tell you a story today from the Bible. You know, when Jesus was alive, not everyone in society was valued or respected. And children weren't always valued and respected. In some ways, children just didn't count. What they thought and said really wasn't very important at all. But Jesus wasn't like that. He always valued and respected everyone, no matter who they were, where they came from, or what they did. People were important to Jesus, as he loved them and showed them God's love. So our story today is about a young boy whose contribution Jesus really valued. Jesus spent a great deal of his time around the Sea of Galilee, where thousands of people followed him, hoping to be healed, hoping to see a miracle, and hoping to hear some of the wonderful things that he said. One young boy heard that Jesus was in the area and he wanted to go along with the crowd to see Jesus for himself. But unlike most of the people, he took some food with him. His mum, knowing that he was going out to spend the day away from home, prepared him a little picnic for his lunch. And so off he went, following the crowd. Jesus went up on the hillside, looking over the Sea of Galilee. His disciples sat beside him, and the huge crowd spread out across the hillside. Everyone wondered just exactly what Jesus would do next. Now, as the crowds were so huge, everyone struggled to get a good view of Jesus. And so the young boy in the story, thinking that he would find a better place to see Jesus, climbed up a tree to see exactly what was going on. It was beginning to get late in the day. The crowd had been listening to Jesus for a long time. And the boy was beginning to get hungry. But he wasn't the only one. Many of the folk in the crowd were getting hungry. And as we remember, the young boy brought along with him the picnic that his mum gave him. But there were many in the crowd who hadn't thought so far ahead and didn't have any food at all. So realising that the crowd were beginning to get hungry, Jesus asked one of his disciples, Philip, where they could go and buy bread to feed all these hungry people. Now, Philip was really confused by this question. And he answered Jesus that it was impossible to get food anywhere to feed so many people. They didn't have enough money to buy it, even if they could find somewhere that had enough food to feed such a vast crowd. Another one of the disciples, Andrew, heard the question that Jesus asked Philip. Now he told Jesus that he knew a lad who had a little picnic with him of five barley loaves and two fish. But, said Andrew, how can that feed such a huge crowd? How would that help? Jesus asked Philip to get the lunch, and the disciples were told to get everyone sitting down. Can you imagine what it was like to ask for this boy's food? The Bible doesn't tell us that he was angry. He doesn't tell us that he wanted to be paid for it. He gave it willingly to Jesus, because Jesus had asked for it. When Jesus got the food from the boy, the first thing he did was he broke it all up, and while he was doing so, he prayed, giving thanks to God for the food. Then the disciples passed it around to all the people, and everyone ate all they wanted until they were full. 
Then Jesus told them, gather up the leftover fragments so that nothing will be lost. And 12 baskets were filled with the leftover food. God provided food for everyone. Jesus used a willing boy's gift to bless thousands of people. The Passover, one of the special celebrations of the Jewish people, was near. And the Passover reminds people that God provided food for them in the desert after they escaped from Egypt. God had shown that he could provide for all of these people as well. And he used the lunch of a young boy to do it. As I said, not everyone was valued and respected at the time when Jesus was alive. People with disabilities weren't. People who did the wrong kind of jobs weren't respected. And children weren't valued or respected either. In fact, so little was thought about children that at one time some mothers brought their children to Jesus to bless them. And the disciples stopped them. The disciples told them to go away, not to bother Jesus. These children had no right to be there. But Jesus heard what was going on. And Jesus said to them to let the children come. And Jesus took the children and he blessed them. Jesus valued and respected everyone, no matter their age, no matter where they came from, no matter what they did, no matter how they lived. He wanted to show everyone that they were valued, respected and loved. Now I know that we're very lucky at Hazelhead Primary because there we are valued, we are respected and we are loved. And I know that your contributions to the life of the school are very much valued. That what you think, what you would like, your opinions, all matter and so you're valued and you are respected and what we have to do is to do the same to other people value and respect them just as valued and respected as Jesus welcomed the little children brought to him or as Jesus valued and respected the little contribution that the boy was able to make of his lunch and then went on to do a great thing with it and was able to feed a huge crowd. So remember to value and respect one another and to value and respect other people. Here's something that was said by Michelle Obama, the wife of President Barack Obama of the United States. And this, when I saw it, I thought, that's really very good. It's just like the story of the little boy sharing his picnic. So here's something for us all to think about. Value everyone's contribution and treat everyone with respect. That's just what Jesus did. He valued the little boy's contribution and he treated the little boy with respect. Now we're going to have a short prayer and after that we're going to hear the song Nobody's a Nobody. Dear God, we thank you for the story of the little boy who brought his picnic to Jesus. We thank you that he was respected by Jesus and that his contribution was valued and that through it Jesus was able to do a great thing and all the people were fed. We pray that we will value and respect one another and that we will use the things we have to help our friends and to help people around the world so that we can share all the good things that you have given us. Amen. Nobody's a nobody, especially not you. 
Nobody's a nobody and God wants us to see That everybody's somebody and that means even me I'm no cartoon, I'm human, I have feelings, treat me right I'm not a superhero with super strength and might I'm not a mega pop star or super athlete But did you know I'm special? In fact I'm quite unique Nobody's a nobody, believe me cause it's true Nobody's a nobody, especially not you Nobody's a nobody and God wants us to see That everybody's somebody and that means even me I'm no cartoon, I'm human, I have feelings, treat me right I'm not a superhero with super strength and might I'm not a mega pop star or super athlete But did you know I'm special? In fact I'm quite unique Nobody's a nobody, especially not you Nobody's a nobody and God wants us to see That everybody's somebody and that means even me I'm no cartoon, I'm human, I have feelings, treat me right I'm not a superhero with super strength and might I'm not a mega pop star or super athlete But did you know I'm special? 